a very good morning to all my dear students i shruti sahai your science teacher is going to start a new topic which is the last topic of this chapter which we were studying from the previous classes so this is the last topic we will be discussing today so students today we are going to study about evaporation condensation and how we will separate salt from the sea water so students first of all evaporation we will see evaporation what exactly evaporation means so students this is a natural uh, phenomenon as well as we can do it by giving temperature so students how naturally you can see the evaporation as you can see the water bodies when it comes in contact with the sun rays and uh, by that if they get heated or get our its temperature gets higher so the temp uh, so the water evaporates you must have seen that when we used to spread our wet clothes and if you will see it uh, from different angles you you will be easily uh, mostly in the summers you can easily see that the water vapor starts coming out of the cloths or the very common example is that when the mother used to put the saucepan for making tea then the uh, then the when the water boils and when the water boils uh, after that vapors start coming out of it okay so evaporation is it can be done naturally by the sun rays or it can even be done by if you will provide the heat to the substance so students evaporation is the process in which a liquid gets converted into its vapor and you can also write it evaporation is the process in which a liquid gets converted into vapor on heating all right students evaporation can be used to separate solid dissolves in a liquid so students in the previous classes uh, or in the just a, uh, just uh, previous class we have studied that how we will separate the insoluble solid from the liquid or water so in this class we will be studying that how we can separate the soluble solids in the liquid and the soluble solid which we will separate in this Uh, module will be salt so students this is often used to separate salt from salt water or you can say sea water so students you must be knowing that uh, the sea water contains a lot of salt in it so how we can separate the salt present in the sea water we will see in the coming slides so students as you can see in the picture that few shallow pits are being formed at the side of the sea as the uh, shore of the sea few pits shallow pits are made and these shallow pits are allowed to stand the sea water in it and by the natural sunlight the water which is present in these shallow pits will be evaporated and what will remain uh, and after all uh, after when after some time when all the uh, water will be evaporated in the form of vapor then what will left behind in the pits only the salt will left behind in the pits so in this way you can see the salt pile being collected at the corner of the uh, these pits so in this way we can collect the salt and as this uh, salt may contain other impurities as well as it is uh, present at the bottom of the uh, pits so in this pits uh, pits so many impurities may also be present so it will get mixed with the salt so these uh, salt uh, salt will be collected from the um, is collected from these pits as you can see in the pack uh, in the a big big packaging it is being packed and it it will be taken to the industries or the factories where it will be purified and then will be supplied for the consumption so students sea water is allowed to stand in the shallow pits water gets heated by sunlight and slowly turns into water vapor through evaporation so here you can see that naturally the evaporation is taking place and we we are able to extract sea water from the Uh, sea water okay now if in a few days the water evaporates completely leaving behind the solid salts so as the natural process as the sun used to uh, if if the sun is so bright so the rate of evaporation will be more because the heat will be more as you can see in summer 
समर्स द क्लोथ्स ड्राई वेरी इजिली वेरी इन जस्ट वन टू टू आवर्स द क्लोथ ड्राइड अप नो सो सेम वे इट्स सेल्फ द शैलो पिट्स द वाटर प्रेजेंट इन द शैलो पिट्स विल बी इवेपोरेटेड द रेट ऑफ इवेपोरेशन विल बी मोर इन समर्स एज कंपेयर टू विंटर्स और यू कैन से ऑन क्लाउडी डेज सो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द Uh, how the sun is bright so in few days approximately few days all the water present in the pit will be evaporated and you will be left behind with the salt which you need to be separated so common salt is then obtained from this mixture of salts by further purification as you can see that without purifying it you cannot consume it because it may contain a lot of other impurities as well so students here you can see that how these several pits shallow pits are made they are not so deep because if it will be so deep then the evaporation will take a lot of time and here you can see so many pits are present and here is the sea and you can see that so many pits are um, the water is allowed to stand in these pits and here the salt piles are there and the ladies are collecting the salt and they are and they are packaging it in these packaging okay and then it will be taken to the factories or industries for further purification and then we will we may get it from the shops now students you can see here using more than one method of separation so students till now in the previous classes we have studied so many methods of separation how we can separate solids from other solids how we can separate the insoluble solid from the liquid and how we can separate the impurities which we can't separate by hand hand picking or by winnowing or by threshing so we, uh, like we boil uh, milk to uh, to kill the germs present in it so this uh, so when the uh, we have uh, seen so many methods so if there is a mixture of for suppose you have water in a beaker and in that beaker uh, as a component salt is there and sand is there and uh, as you know that salt is uh, soluble in water and uh, salt is soluble in water and sand is insoluble in water so how you will be able to separate these three components water salt and sand so first of all as you can see students when you will leave this mixture uh, undisturbed for uh, for about 30 minutes the sand will settle down at the bottom the sand will settle down at the bottom and the salt dissolved in the water will be present as the decantate above the sediment and the sediment is made up of sand as you know uh, that the layer which is formed at the bottom of uh, which of heavier particles is known as sediment and the process of settling down the heavier particles at the bottom is known as sedimentation so by the process of sedimentation this salt layer is formed and then what we can do we can Uh, we can follow the process of decantation and carefully uh, leaving the layer of sediment undisturbed we can pour the water present above it and uh, as you can see that we can easily get the mixture of salt and water and then what we will do see how the so uh, sand present at the bottom is separated and the salt and water is separated in the other beaker now what we will do that to separate the salt from water we will give it heat we can uh, we can keep it in the sunlight also but that will take a lot of time so we can provide uh, we can just keep it on the uh, flame as you can see in this picture it is more clear that the salt and water mixture is kept in this boiler and heat is provided to it and after that what will happen the water will evaporate as the heat is uh being provided so the uh, its temperature will raise and uh, after its boiling point it will it starts evaporating as you can see the vapors uh, the vapor is coming out of the uh, coming out of this boiler and this process is known as evaporation as you can see that the steel plate is being uh, 
is uh, having is tilted and uh, having uh, the ice cubes above it and the uh, and it has a very lower temperature so these vapors having very high temperature will be uh, will be cooled by this uh ice cubes present above the sea, uh, steel plate and then it the vapor after being cooled up will be uh, converted into liquid and in this way we can collect the pure water and where will the salt where the salt will go the salt will be collected in the the beaker and as a residue we can uh, get the salt in the beaker so in this way we can separate the water from the salt so we have separated sand we have separated salt and we have separated water so by which by which processes we have separated them so evaporation and condensation we can define evaporation as the process of converting liquid into its vapor form is called evaporation and the condensation is the process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid form or you can also call the process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid form on cooling is called condensation the process of converting liquid into its vapor form on heating is called evaporation so students as you can see uh, uh, in the flow chart manner that salt sand and water how uh, in which steps you can separate them the first step will be sedimentation followed by decantation we can separate the sand from the mixture of salt and sand and water so, uh, the mixture of salt water and sand so after that what will remain in the mixture salt and water that we can separate by the process of first we will evaporate the water and what will remain and what will be remained in the uh, container salt so in this way we can separate uh, by different methods we can separate mixture of more than two components so students as you know that salt is soluble in the water so we can get it by the process of evaporation and condensation and as the salt is insoluble in water we can get it by the sedimentation the same way itself if you say that if in place of sand iron fillings are there so after sediment uh, after first of all we can take the magnet and get the iron fillings out of it and uh, then we can go for the further process so on the basis of the different properties which one component have and the other component does not have and the pro and the physical state of the uh, impurity which we need to separate we can separate different components of a mixture now students a very interesting question question is there i have uh, given this question to know the understanding of you all of this chapter as this chapter is complete uh, this was the last topic we were uh, we uh, i was about to uh, tell you so students uh, which method of separation is used to separate stones and rice husk and grain grains and stock sand and water salt and water so this you have to do it in your test copy uh, or the revision copy you will have to do this uh, question and i will ask the uh, the questions which are written here i can ask and i can uh, i will see these questions done and uh, i can even ask you these questions orally during the zoom class hope you all have understood the chapter well if any doubt is there it will be cleared out so students uh, thank you for listening study well